my youtube channel games warehouse for you so guys here in this video we're gonna learn that how to create a simple movement system for the player so let's start this is the part one so in this part we want we are not going to cover the animations but if you want the animations also so let me know i will just uh, create another tutorial for the animations as well and uh, but now just create drag and drop your model I'm using the built-in character add a character controller and uh, the set this value of the colliders so now just time to write the code add a script go to your script and this is a script so we added a character controller so we set it equals to the character controller namespace means the character controller is a type and it is the name of the type float speed for the speed for the player jump speed for the player and the gravity so with how much speed the player will uh, come back to the ground rotation speed so rotation and the rotation speed this will rotate the player and how much speed will sh with the player should rotate so this two for the rotation is for the jump is for the movement and this will control all of this private or if we just remove it so it's the vector 3 move direction vector 3 means the vector 3 x y z so here you can see this is a vector of position this is a vector 3 of rotation as well as for scale so these are what we call vectors move direction vector 3 dot 0 move direction means the direction by default for this variable is 0 if you don't want to write this line of code you can write this also if you want but I'll just set it to default for now white start character controller is equals to character controller which is added to the player so character controller is equal to the character control where the game starts otherwise we uh, we are unable to use the character controller because it is a private so we have to uh, tell it that what is it so for this purpose we use the voice star when the game starts the character controller will become equal to the controller which is added to the player void update if the character controller dot is grounded means is grounded where we get the variable so basically this is built in in this character controller so in the script we used is built in is grounded variable that if it is true that move direction is equals to move direction this is the vector 3 here we added is equal to new vector 3 means that whatever position on he is he makes a new direction new vector and continue its motion from that vector if we didn't add the new add this vector 3 so whatever I just press the next button uh, means the W key he will uh, start moving from the default position so this is why new vector is used basically so vector 3 means X Y Z I don't want it to move on the x axis as well as on the y axis so I said 0.0f means the float value 0.0f on the x y axis but on the z axis I set that the vertical input will be on the z axis as you can see that on the z axis player moves so this is why okay I hope you understand it and move direction multiply by speed means this input will be multiplied by speed and as well as multiply it with the time dot delta time okay so we get a smooth animation in any kind of computer processor okay and move direction is equals to transform the transform direction move direction means that whenever the uh, transform position it is means that if we didn't add this line of code when I just rotate the player and press the upper key uh, so he will just move on the straight direction he will not rotate whenever the rotation position whatever the rotation position he will move rotate so if I want him to rotate 
uh, go on the rotated direction where, where his face is uh, directing goes there I think we should remove this line of code then you will understand it better when I just add it again ok simple now move direction input the vertical vertical multiply by speed and the time not all the time if I get the input of jump move direction dot y is equal to jump speed means this y we divide v on the y axis because the player goes up on the y axis so the jump speed is added to the y axis so with jump speed 8 he goes 8 feet up on the y axis and as well as come back uh, with the gravity scale so this is the gravity with this speed so we uh, yeah with this speed he will come back every second so that's all of this purpose this and this are same and the rotation for now for the rotation rotation plus equals to input dot get axis horizontal rotation this is the rotation variable we used for the rotation plus equals means one hour I press the get axis of horizontal keys which are a and d this will be multiplied to the rotation speed as well as same here these two lines of code working these so here we added the one line of code working this process as well as time to delta time here we added the same thing but we l wrote it into two lines and here we write it into one line transform your euler angles i don't know what to pronounce it transform your euler angles equals to the new vector 3 so euler angles means transform means the position transform the irregular angles means this is the rotation which is irregular angles so I don't want it to move on the X or Y so I set it I set this values to 0 and 0 or the, but on the Y I set it equal to this rotation you can see when I press the left key it will multiply this left key value to this rotation speed and it will move with this speed on this axis on this axis as well so, okay and now that's uh, it will work for the rotation and move direction dot y gravity it comes down i think we should add it near to this thing okay gravity controller dot move is equals to move direction multiply by time dot speed uh, time dot all that so here he moves but he don't move it is just a variable setting goes uh, moves up uh, move this variable moves but it moves it should move the player also so we we will move this character controller uh, with this direction so we say character control dot move means the character control dot move is also built in in this character controller so this will move according to this rules and now the character will move in the forward direction so if I just test the game so here you can see sorry speed uh, to 30 so here you can see but I just said it that I, ro uh, I removed one line of code so here I just said rotate it rotation speed to 80 I just rotate it it rotates when it goes straight he goes straight so <laughs> I don't know why where is this line of code wow what a miracle okay that works fine I think we should save the script that works yeah now it won't work it is preloaded it's working on the preloaded script So now when I just move, it moves, rotate, and move, it still move on the forward direction. We don't want it. We want it to move where his face is facing. The direction he move on the direction where his face is facing. So he should move on this direction, but he is not. So for this purpose, we write this line of code. 
so it's now removed so we say the move direction is equals to the trans sorry small letter transform dot transform position trans dot transform direction sorry transform direction and this direction will face in the move direction okay so well, well, this line of code does that he will move the player transform change is transformed to the transform direction transformed direction means the direction on what axis the player rotate if the player is facing so he will transform his direction to the direction where the player face is facing so of the move direction so I hope you understand it so I just test the game now but first set these values so here you can see you just rotate also okay so guys this video ends here but here you can see he also jumps so guys this video ends here I hope you liked it and if, if you want the animations also I will make a detailed tutorial if you just uh, send me otherwise I won't create it just uh, if you want the tutorial then let me know in the comment section I will create it so guys for now this video ends here till the next time goodbye guys